Hi everybody, it's Phil Owens at Wheatstone here with the first in a series of short videos designed to highlight some of the features and advantages you get when you use our Wheatnet IP uh, audio routing system in conjunction with any of our TV control surfaces. When you integrate a control surface with an IP-based routing system, you pick up a number of great features, and I'm here to talk about one of them. But first, before I do that, let me just tell you what the gear I have here set up for this demo is. This is our Series 4 control surface. It's a 24 fader control surface with two control layers, so you get a total of 48 active mixing channels. You can flip pages between uh, uh, the two layers globally, or one fader at a time. That gives you easy access to all 48 of your active mixing channels. Series 4 also has EQ and dynamics that can be applied to any of the 48 input channels. Uh, they are controlled via touchscreen. The touchscreen is a uh, commercial off-the-shelf touchscreen that gives you access to most of the features that the board offers. Uh, you can control via touch or via a scroll knob on the surface itself for parameters that need finer tuning. So we have a four band parametric EQ, a compressor limiter, an expander gate. We also have programmable delay per channel uh, for lip sync correction, adjustable in milliseconds with your scroll knob on the surface. We also have a feature that I'm going to be talking about today called bus minus, also sometimes known as N minus one in the, in the industry. It's a way to create an individual mix minus output from every single channel of the board. So the series four, as it sits, will give you uh, 48 mix minus outputs plus another four utility mix minuses. Uh, so 52 altogether. It's quite powerful for a board this size. The uh, bus minus system basically lets you choose uh, between a number of console output buses. The usual choice is your main program out. That will be the bus that people on the receiving end of your mix minus are hearing, but the system automatically removes their signal from that mix. So that is, in fact, why we call it a bus minus. It is a console bus minus the individual channel signal sent directly out from the router for use as a mix minus for that channel. So more about that in just a minute. Uh, the Series 4 also has complete surround capability with panning. Uh, it also supports our ACI or automation control interface that lets any of the major automation uh, newsroom packages uh, control the console directly. Next in the uh, equipment lineup is our new Gibraltar IP mix engine. This is a frame that lets us use our standard DSP cards in conjunction with our, our new gigabit transport card so that any of our TV control surfaces can be equipped with a cage with as much DSP as the console requires and a dual port gigabit interface card that allows the TV control surface to join in a Wheatnet IP network. Next up we have our IP88 uh, version 3 blades. These are the I.O. units that are used in a Wheatnet IP system. Of course they're much more than I.O. because these blades have an onboard intelligence so they can in fact do mixing and processing all on their own. They can uh, perform a number of functions that uh, don't require the control surface. Uh, each blade has two onboard eight-channel mixers. Each blade can do silence detection. Each blade has an onboard uh, audio processing channel. So they're much more than just I.O. terminals, but in this case that's their main function. They can be uh, distributed throughout the plant or uh, gathered together in a central location so you have the equivalent of uh, a central crosspoint router. The bottom line is whether they're distributed or not, the combined blades will give you a traditional crosspoint router with sources, destinations, easily controllable through a crosspoint grid. 
So those are the basic components that we're using here for this little demo. What I'd like to show you today is the way that you can automate some of your Mix Minus feeds uh, using features found in the, in the blade package in conjunction with the TV control surface. The function that I'd like to talk about today is called associated connections. It allows you to create cross-point changes that are based on other cross-points being made. These are called trigger connections. In this case, I've created a trigger connection that occurs when you assign this source, phone 4321, to channel 16 on the Series 4 surface. I've created a second trigger connection that consists of phone 4322 being assigned to that same channel on the Series 4. Once you've created a trigger connection, you can then define associated connections that will be made at the same time. In this case, when I assign phone coupler 4321 to channel 16, I want to route the bus minus feed of channel 16 back to the mix minus input of that same phone coupler. You do the same thing for the condition of assigning phone coupler 4322 to channel 16. That will route the channel mix minus output of channel 16 back to the mix minus input of 4322. You can also disconnect sources using the associated cross point. In this case, I disconnect 4321 while I connect 4322. And conversely, I disconnect 4322 when I connect 4321. So now, when I assign 4321 to channel 16, the bus minus connection is automatically made to the input of the 4321 coupler. When I change to 4322, you can see that mix minus assignment changing automatically. 4322, back to 4321, back to 4322. So you can see that your mix minus assignments automatically follow the source assignments on the Series 4 surface. So this has been uh, a look at one of the features that you pick up when you have a TV control surface that's tightly integrated with your audio over IP routing system. If you have any questions on this or any other features of the Series 4 and Wheatnet IP, please uh, email us at sales at wheatstone.com or give us a call 252-638-7000. Thanks everybody for your time. Thanks for watching. This is Phil Owens for Wheatstone Corporation.